I think we can all agree, new bike day is one of the best days a mountain biker can have. That means that the second most exciting day has got to be when you get to ride a brand new trail for the first time. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Today's adventure comes from the recently opened trails of Newbold Common, one of a number of new mountain bike specific trails that have popped up on old golf courses and common land. This welcome addition to the local landscape has a number of fun looking trails to explore, some interesting lines and a few exciting features meant for the more advanced rider. So we got ourselves sorted and headed straight to the trails. As you can see, I'm on my hardtail today, the Voodoo Bazango Pro. I've heard that there are some tight corners and flowing pumpy trails here, so this should be a great machine for the job. I'm also not alone for today's ride. Today, I'm joined by Lisa and Jim. You've seen both these guys in previous videos, like the Tommy Road at Penn Magno in Wales, or even more recently at the Northampton Bike Park, so they're no strangers to the channel. Getting onto the common, the first little warm up was on the pump track. If you're someone who's new to jumps or you're trying a new bike for the first time, this is a good place to come. Short but fun. After this, we decided to head straight for the skills area. This has two lines of jumps, each with a few tabletops and some large dreamy burns. Taking the small line first, this rundown was a good test to scope out where the trail goes and see how the Bazango feels on the jumps. Not really knowing the speed of the course, I was putting in quite a few pedal strokes where I could, but after a couple of warm-up runs, you find that you really don't need to. These are a great line of jumps and burns. Nice. Now that I know the course, to clean it up a bit, I dropped back in for another run. I hope that it comes across on camera how lovely and smooth these trails are. The jumps really are nice, and it goes to show how fun a skills area like this can really be. They also serve the purpose of getting you ready to head out onto the trails and ride some features, which was a good thing for Jim, and you'll see why in a minute. So after having a play in the skills area, we went off in search of some more fun. Now, the trails here are more like a loop around the common with a mixture of gradual climbs and varying descents. For the most part, these trails are easy paths, but it's the downhill sections where the fun really starts. Reaching the top of the hill, our first trail was this twisty blue one. Trails like this are exactly why I brought the Bazango Pro with me. This is perhaps one of the windiest trails I've ever ridden, and because it's still new, it's super smooth and you can really trust the burns. On this trail, the corners come at you thick and fast. You can really generate a good amount of speed around the berms and it's an extremely active trail. I certainly wasn't expecting to find anything like this on the trails today. On that note, it's also worth remembering that these trails and parking are completely free. How good is that? Coming along this far straight at the end, you have a couple of optional doubles, which of course are rollable if you want. All in all, this is a great blue graded trail and a good first attempt from us. But now it's time for something even better. This red trail starts with a couple of small jumps out in the open before diving into the trees. And it does get a bit tight in here. This is a really active, fast paced trail. There are plenty of doubles and rollers to play on once you get to know the course and the berms are fun and well placed. At just under a minute, Newbold Common doesn't have the longest trails in the world, but considering that it's entirely free, you really can't complain. It's difficult to see in this light, but there are plenty of hidden double options that you can hit on here. And this being my first run down, I think I missed every single one of them. But this actually happens to be one of my favorite trails here, despite not having any big features on it at all. Trails like this really show what's possible in a short space, perfect for hardtail riders too. Over the next hour or so, we cruised around the park, seeing what it had to offer and trying out a few more of the trails. They all appeared to be well-made and well-planned out, but there was one trail in particular that caught our eye. These may not look big on camera, but these jumps are huge. They're easily longer than anything I've ridden so far, so me and the Bazango decided to miss this one out. But Jim was keen to give it a test run. Not wanting to completely miss out, I said I'd follow behind Jim going at half speed, but I wouldn't be clearing any jumps. Rolling down this one, I quickly decided that I'd made the right choice not to go full send on these. My jumping's been slowly improving over the last couple of months, but I feel like these might be pushing it a bit too far. Even though I chickened out on giving these a proper run, it was good to see what they're all about. Full on case. Something to aim for. So on the hardtail, I didn't fancy hitting all of these, 
but lucky enough for us, Jim does. So let's get some decent shots and get him hitting some jumps. So I set myself up with a camera and got ready. A lucky save from Jim. He undershot the jump and landed nose first on the knuckle. Luckily, he managed to ride it out. For any normal rider, that would have been enough. But Jim doesn't give up so easily. And on his second attempt, he takes the ball by the horns. making it look easy. So that was a quick guide to the fun that is New Bold Common. A great free bike park with plenty of fun features to help you brush up on your skills. So what do you think of public trail networks like these? Let me know down in the comments. But for now, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.